This is Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 17 and Lesson 18 combined. These lessons have the same objective, which is to relate decimal and fraction multiplication. These lessons cover multiple standards. This is problem 1C from the homework. Now in this lesson, you will learn that you can convert decimals into fractions to make this multiplication equation easier. So if I look at this, it reads 1 tenth times 1 and 6 tenths. So I remember from previous lessons, I'm going to bring down my 1 tenth, and I can tell you that 1 and 6 tenths is the same thing as 16 tenths. Now if you're a little unsure how to do that, 1 and 6 tenths would be written like this as a fraction. So if I wanted to turn this into an improper fraction, I would multiply 1 times 10, which is 10, and then add my 6, and I get 16 tenths. Now even though we have been cross-simplifying in previous lessons, in this lesson, do not cross-simplify. Just multiply across. I know that 1 times 16 equals 16, and 10 times 10 equals 100. 16 one hundredths, or 16 hundredths, would be written 0 and 16 hundredths. Now in lesson 18, we're still going to be multiplying numbers, but we're working with decimal times decimal. So 3 and 3 tenths times 8 tenths. Now, the first thing we need to do is rewrite these two decimals as a fraction. So we're going to look at it, and I know that 3 and 3 tenths is the same thing as 33 tenths. 0 and 8 tenths is the same as 8 tenths. You really need to know your place value. And if you get stuck, remember, you can always draw a place value chart. There's your decimal. And then we would have tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So if that helps you remember your place value chart, feel free to use one of those. So now we're not cross simplifying. We're just going to multiply across. So 33 times 8. I'm going to solve it on the side to make sure that I do not make any errors. 8 times 3 is 24. Carry the 2. 8 times 3 is 24. Plus 2 more is 26. So I get 264. 10 times 10 is 100. Now I have to write 264 over 100. How am I going to do that? Now, if you remember from previous lessons, way back in Unit 1 when we worked on place value, wherever that place value, whatever it is, it's in the hundredths, the last number needs to be in that place. So I'm going to look at my place value chart. My last number is 4, so that means my 4 has to be in the hundredths. So my 6 is going to be here, and my 2 will be there. So I'm going to get 2 and 64 hundredths as an answer.